What up? This is your man, Petey Pablo, and you're looking at VladTV.com. Get it right. Stop chewing bubblegum, bitches, some damn chewing gum. Whoa! I really heard about Petey Pablo, mm -hmm. you know, in the U.S., of course, because right. you, know, you were overseas, was uh, you were running around with Suge, mm -hmm. and, the, and the word was that Petey Pablo is now on death row. Right, right, right. So, well, well, let's you know, talk about that. You know how the, me the media takes things, you know, and just runs with it and goes... And if you and it, see, I never, I never used to be a real media person. So like going on there and, and looking at it and, and reading what they say, it, it really never bothered me. But no, I mean for the record, I was never signed to Death Row. Um, we never had any paperwork. You know, it was just two guys hanging out with each other, mm -hmm. and um, and being and being being in the same company in more than a few places. You know, it just it just puts you there. I mean, I know that it appeared that way, but it was it was never that. You know? Okay. So, so what exactly was your relationship with Suge? Oh, we was time? cool. We was cool. We was real cool. Like you know, again, like when 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 I deal with people, I don't just deal with people on a business level because I mean, business people, we 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 do business together. But if we have a personal, that's why we, we were probably seen a lot together because we had kind of a personal level. Like I mean, I would go to his parents' house for holidays because my family was in Carolina. And at the time, I was out there with, you know, no family and, and nothing like that. And so I would spend the holidays at his mom and his dad's house. And, okay. You know, so it was, and hang out with his kids and all that other stuff. So it was more more of a personal, you know what I mean? Trying to get to know him as a as a, as a a, a, a man instead of a, a, a myth or, you know, or this illusion that a lot of people, misconceptions. Did you guys get any business going during the time? You know, I mean, I did a, I mean, I'm... I have a passion for music, so you know I did. I mean, I, I went to the studio a lot and did a lot of work and stuff out there. But yeah, we just we we just never never went as far as as doing any business business together. Do you think that that, that association with Suge uh, hurt you at all? You know, in terms of like the perception of the music industry, because because Suge definitely has a certain kind of aura right. about him. Right, right. I know right. that certain people, you know. Don't do work with shit. Right, for, right, for, right. For whatever, whatever reason, you know. What I mean, it is. I think a lot of people knew me, and I think I think it, su it surprised a lot of people to even see us in the same places, and um, and I think it kind of made a couple people uncomfortable, like a couple people that that I, I used to have, you know, um, uh, just cordial relationships with. Right. You know, I think it kind of made people uncomfortable, and um, but I, I can't say that it actually hurt me. Um, because anything that is going to happen will happen and anything that isn't shall never come to pass. You know, I'm a very spiritual individual, so, I mean, I don't think that whatever whatever's written in the book of life for you, that's what it is. So, I mean, I really can't say that, that it hurt or helped, you know what I mean? But uh, I just keep on doing what I do. Uh, at one point, though, you, you know, you kind of stopped mm -hmm. spending a lot of time with Shug. Right, right. right. Well, when was that about? Um, it was just, you know, when, I mean, when you, when you sit back and you look at situations and you see that some things might not change and some things might not, might not work out, you know, it's like, hey man, I'm trying to go here and you want to go here and, and we, we, we just on two different wavelengths. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's just ain't no, ain't no love lost, you know yeah. what I mean? But it, it, if, if you in a car and the car ain't going nowhere, then you might need to try to change up transportation. You guys still keep in contact? No. No, not really. No, he out there and I'm out here trying to get what I'm trying to get. I'm on new dawn, new day, trying to do new things. And you know, and like I said, and like you said also, you know, I mean, it's nobody's fault but an individual. If you have a bad reputation and you don't try to do anything to change that, then I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm a positive individual. Um, I'm on a positive level. I, I deliver positive messages for the most part. And I can't, I, you, you, birds of a feather flock together. So if you don't want to be affiliated with this type of bird, then you need to go and, and find where you need to be.